Hola, esta lección es para los posesivos. If you're using the guided notes printable, you will see a pencil when it's time to take notes or answer questions. In Spanish, when we use nouns, we usually have articles in front of the noun, the word the, or a, and, or some. For example, el perro, the dog, los perros, the dogs, un perro, a dog, and unos perros, some dogs. Or, if we wanted to use a feminine word, la vaca for the cow, las vacas, the cows, una vaca, a cow, and unas vacas, some cows. Remember that el, la, los, and las all mean the, while un and una mean one or an, and unos or unas mean some. But what if I'm trying to tell someone who those objects belong to? That's when we need our possessive adjectives. For example, I'm sure you've heard the saying, mi casa es tu casa. My house is your house. The words my and your in English, mi and tu in Spanish are the possessives, a way of showing who the house belongs to. Well, let's look at some examples. Mi perro, my dog. Tu perro, your dog, su perro, his, her, your, or its dog, and nuestro perro, our dog. There are a few things to point out here. One, notice the word tu doesn't have an accent. Tu spelled with an accent means you, but without it, it means your. They are pronounced the same. Second, Nuestro ends with an O, which means it will change depending on what it's describing. Perro ends in an O, which is why nuestro ends in an O. In the next example, let's use vaca, cow. Can you guess what letter the word nuestro will end in? Let's see if you're right. Mi vaca, my cow. Tu vaca, your cow. Su vaca, his, her, your, formal, or its cow and nuestra vaca, our cow. Did you guess that nuestro would end in an A? It ends in an A because vaca ends in an A. So with the others, we just need to remember one thing. If it's plural, we add an S to it. For nuestro, we need to remember two things. To add an S if it's plural and to make it masculine or feminine. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's go a little more in depth. We focused on one singular object. If there were more than one, we would have mis perros, tus perros, sus perros, and nuestros perros. Literally, mises dogs, yours's dogs, hises, herses, yours's formal, or its's dogs, and ours's dogs. Little awkward translation into English. Um, for cows, we would have mis vacas, tus vacas, sus vacas, and nuestras vacas. Again, mys is cows, yours is cows, his is, hers is, yours is formal, and its is cows, uh, and ours is cows. Now, this tends to be a pretty easy grammar concept for English speakers, except for the words su and sus. Did you notice how many things that one small word stood for? his, her, your, and its in the singular and in the plural. For example, if I said su cama, it could mean his bed, her bed, your bed, formal, or its bed, a dog bed maybe. Because of that, we will usually clarify whose object it is by using the construction object plus day plus person. Remember, we don't use apostrophes in Spanish, so instead we use the word day. Por ejemplo, la cama de Spot, Spot's bed. La cama de mi hermano, my brother's bed. La cama de Pablo, Pablo's bed. La cama de ella, her bed. And la cama de él, his bed. Once the listener or reader knows who we're talking about, we can switch to using the word su. A word of caution. While fairly simple, what can trip up English speakers is that the possessives matches the thing is talking about and not the person who has it. 
So let's say Pablo and Maria, they have a car. We would say su carro, not sus, because it's just one car. Or if Teresa has a bunch of grapes, we would say sus uvas, because grapes are plural, even though Teresa is not. Well, te toca a ti. It's your turn. Let's start with singular first. Remember to pause the video to give yourself time to think. So here you'd want to say la escuela de los estudiantes first, just to clarify. Did you remember the equation object plus de plus person? And then you could say su escuela for their school. Let's look at the examples below. Let's pause the video to give yourself time to think and let's see what you come up with. Did you get tu papel for your paper? Su gato for their cat or el gato de ellas? Nuestra doctora for our doctor. Notice the A at the end of nuestra matches the A at the end of doctora. Mi libro for my book. And la pizarra de usted or su pizarra, your chalkboard formal you. Did you remember that su can also mean you formal? Now let's try a plural. Remember to pause the video to give yourself time to think. Did you get los hermanos de Paco or sus hermanos for the brothers of Paco, his brothers? For magazines, did you get las revistas de ustedes or sus revistas for their magazines? Did you get nuestras vacas? How about los carros de ellas or sus carros? for their cars. And las computadoras would be tus computadoras, yours is computers. That was plural, but now let's mix it up a little bit for the last five. Remember to pause the video to give yourself time to think. Did you get su casa? Now there's two, Paco and Maria, but casa is just one thing, so it needed to be singular. Did you get nuestro proyecto? The third one, sus primas. The fourth one, su problema. And the last one, sus computadoras. Again, Maria is one person, but computers is plural, and so it needs to match computers. Gracias. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions by commenting below. Gracias y nos vemos.